Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is arms toning exercise. So if you want to sculpt your arms, just grab your mat and let's begin. All right, we're gonna start standing. I like my feet wide apart, wider than my hips, just for stability. You could also do this exercises sitting down, you know, in a sukhasana or cross-legged seated position. But I like to stand because I'm also gonna be working on my glutes as I squeeze my glutes. All right, so for our first exercise, you're just gonna draw one horizontal line with your arms. Palms are facing down, and we are gonna start. I have my timer down here, and I'm gonna start. We're gonna flutter the wings. We're just gonna do this, you know, just like baby moves. <laughs> Making sure that you're drawing your rib cage in and your navel is in. So you wanna lock your core, right? So you're just moving and feeling this in your arms. All right, we got 30 more seconds. We're doing one minute of this. Breathe. 28. 25. Whew, this is gonna burn your arms. This is also really, really good to pair with any yoga practice. So I used to just do this all of the time. Every other day, it's gonna be different. <laughs> all right, 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. All right, next, you're not gonna drop your hands. Cactus your arms, and then you're gonna reach up, palms to touch. Your shoulders are next to your ears and your biceps, right? And then you're gonna cactus again your arms, and you're gonna bring it down behind you, squeezing your shoulder blades. Cactus the arms, reach up, and back again. Doing this repeatedly. So I like to squeeze my glutes up, Relax here in the cactus and squeeze again your glutes here. Relax, squeeze, relax, squeeze. So great to work on your posture here for your shoulders. Making sure that you're not puffing out your chest. You're really just feeling this in your arms and strong core. Locking those, the core. Who rib cage in. Few more. Three, two, and one. Good. You're not going to drop. This time, <laughs> you're going to drop your palms down and lift up. And then close your fist and then do the same thing. Squeeze. Up, down. Show, show, elbows are in line as you do that. Elbows are in line. Close your fist and squeeze your glutes and your shoulder blades. So imagine that you really have tension here, right? So imagine if you have a rubber or, woo, right? You have dumbbells in your hands here, squeezing with dumbbells, right? Who? Squeeze, cactus, palms down cactus and squeeze. All right, last set. And squeeze. Good. Now this time, you straighten your hands. You're just going to scoop. You're not lowering your arms. Scoop down and, and scoop up. Scoop down, palms facing back and up. So kind of like big circles here. I like to squeeze as I scoop down and release the glutes here. Squeeze the glutes, release. Squeeze the glutes, release. Squeeze the glutes, release. Do you feel your arms now? Mine is really burning. <laughs> Squeeze the glutes, up. Squeeze the glutes, palms up. Squeeze the glutes, relax your glutes. Okay, a few more here. Five. Four, three, two, and last one. One, relax. Wait, don't relax, I mean just the glutes. Don't drop your hands. Right hand will reach up as your left hand will reach in front of you to the right. So kind of sandwiching and then you're gonna bend and back to center, palms down, and then the other side. So you're sandwiching your torso. 
sandwich, straight, sandwich, straight. Working on our side, side body as we stretch and making sure you're locking your core. Strong core. A few more, we got this. Woo. This is our last one, guys. And back to center. Who? Now shake it up. How does that feel for you? All right, now we're gonna go down on the mat. Who? So for our first one on the mat, we're gonna have our hands just behind our bum and making sure that it is a little bit wider than your hips. So you're gonna insert your hips like this. So making sure you can insert it. So it's gonna be a reverse tabletop position, making sure that your shins are in line or shins are vertical line, so adjust yourself, knees on top of the heels, right? And from here, you're not gonna puff out the chest or your belly, lock your core, and then bring it in. You're not dropping down the hips, and then again, reverse tabletop. We're doing this movement slowly and repeatedly. So when you're up here, you wanna squeeze the glutes, and when you go down, you just relax the glutes. So, so many actions here. This is actually already a full body here. You know, working on the ankle mobility, legs, hips. Well, not really so much about the hips, but you know, as we move and squeezing the glutes, the core is working, shoulders are opening, and of course, we're tensing the arms, right? That's the purpose of this arms exercise. Whew. Few more, three, two, last one here. Who? And all the way down, rest and shake your hands. Who? All right, for our next one, we're gonna go down on our forearm plank. So making sure that your elbows are in line with your shoulders again. And this time you can actually do this or interlace your fingers if that feels better for you. And then extend your forearm plank. Squeeze the glutes when you're in your forearm plank. And you're just gonna lift up, still on your toes, and your ears are now next to your biceps, right? And then forearm plank, squeeze the glutes, and then lift up. Squeeze the glutes. So you're just on your tippy toes, like a wide-legged dolphin. Or not wide-legged, but wide dolphin stance, right? so your heels are not down on the ground. All right, we're bringing our forearms up, squeeze the glutes, up, squeeze the glutes down. A few more. Whew. Love the burn. <laughs> All right, let's do three more. Four, three. Squeeze, two, squeeze, one. Squeeze and relax. Ooh. Ah, shake your arms. All right, this time we're gonna again do reverse tabletop but on our forearms. So earlier we were on our hands. Next time, this one, forearms. Making sure that your elbows are just in line with your shoulders so not too wide. Adjust yourself here. And then from here, as you lift up, making sure again the shins are uh, vertical line and then just dropping it down. So just lifting it up and down. Lift up, drop it down, up and down. So same thing, as you lift up, you wanna squeeze the glutes and down. Seven. Six. Who? Five, lock your core or engage your core. Three. We've got two more. Who? And last one. Up, squeeze the glutes. Hold it here for ten. Nine. Eight. Squeeze the glutes. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. All the way down. 
Amazing. Good job. Whew. Again, shake your arms. Wow, my sweat went onto my to my eyes. We have one last exercise. So we're gonna do our side plank on our forearms here, this way. You can stack your feet, or otherwise you could also have one foot in front of the other. So find what works best for you. This is a little bit more of a challenge when they're stacked like this. So your other hand will be behind your neck or the lower head. And you're just gonna do this, tapping. Well, you're not really tapping, but you're just like trying to tap it. All right? Whew. Strong core. Also working on the obliques, right? Five, four, three, whew, two, and one. All right, relax. Whew. I'm gonna switch side here. All right, now last one. We're gonna do on the other forearms. All right, <laughs> making sure that your hips are stacked. All right, so again, we're doing this for 15. 15. 14, 13, gonna stretch our arms before we end <laughs> Whew, it's very sweaty already all right so we're gonna reach your right hand up bend your elbows you're gonna have your hand touch your back and you're gonna pull your elbow with your other hand here so really tucking in your rib cage lock your core stretching this who feeling it from your right the elbow down to the side body of the waist Right, release, shake it up, shake it up again, other side. Ah, feels so good. Rib cage drawing in, navel in, and relax. Now we got one more. We're just gonna have your hands to your sides and doing this so one arm is straight the other one is bent kind of hooking it right then again and then other side doing this repeatedly I remember this used to be one of our warm-ups in uh, cheerleading <laughs> when I was in my university so as you do this you're opening to collarbones right but you're not puffing out your chest you always want to lock your chest you're really just doing or feeling this in your shoulders and your arms. Huh. Kind of releasing those, you know, lactic acid buildup. All right, shake it up one more time. Ah, breathe in, breathe out. Ah. That is it for this arms exercise. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure to check out the legs uh, toning. You wanna do this alternate. So I'm gonna do this arms toning and then the next day, I'm gonna do the legs. You know, so you kinda wanna alternate it and I pair that also with a yoga practice. <laughs> if you feel that burn, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you get notified for the next class. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!